Hello everyone, welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Um, something happened to... Oh, no, there we go. That was weird. Why did that not load in? It's not loading in from here. Huh, ah, that's kind of weird. It should be loading in. Like some of the textures aren't loading in from a distance. I was about to say, we fixed our roof, but now it's not fixed anymore. I don't know why. This side looks good. Okay. Either way, uh, today we are going to, there's probably going to be a weird random jump cut at some point here because I'm, I've, like I said, I've got family in town and all that kind of stuff, so uh, maybe a weird, like, middle of a sentence stop jump cut at some point, so just be expecting it. But either way, today we're going to check on our greenhouse, we're going to get our hay dropped in our barn to see if we can fill that on up for our cattle. We are continuing on the same day that we left off on in the last um, holiday video, in the Christmas video that I did. Uh, it seems like all the plants are growing quite well. So these tomatoes over here are starting to grow as well. These were the first ones we put down right here, I think. So they should pop out some fruit first. Um, or vegetable first. Tomato is a vegetable. No, it's a fruit. Tomato is a fruit. Yes, tomato is a fruit. Uh, and then we got some zucchinis here. And then pumpkins on the back side. Look at the pumpkin leaves. Like, this is... That's pretty detailed. I really like the way those look. So... Uh, we'll get that done, and then uh, hopefully we'll be getting some crops out of the greenhouse fairly soon. I figure that will be some good money. Also, I know we're going to have to harvest this soon so that it doesn't go to waste, but um, I, I'm not going to have time in today's video. It's just not going to be feasible for me to do. The old maze header there. Uh, yeah, it's just not going to be feasible for me to do, so what we're going to do is we're going to tool around the farm a little bit. And, wait a minute, can I... I still have my my rebuild tool. What's this one? I want this one. Do I have the ability? I thought I made all these wood. Oh, huh. that's really strange. I thought I made all those wood, but I don't guess I did. I already milked the cows, right? Yeah, I've already milked the cows. That is so strange. Like, I feel like, for a fact, we made all these wood, but they're all metal again. That's really, really strange. Okay, then. Uh, maybe it didn't take. I don't know. Uh, we'll go ahead and open these up, and we'll go grab our tractor. The old loud, noisy jack bear. And we will move some hay... Uh, into the barn for the cows. Oh man, the collision. Camera collision. Woo! On everything. Maybe I just need to stay third person. I turn my sensitivity down a bit too. I feel like. Uh, stay first person rather. There we go. That's a little bit better. Eh, I don't guess it matters too much. Well, almost. There we go. Alright. Now, we can drive around here, and apparently we can drive straight through our cow barn. barn. Words today, not so easy. Uh, yeah, apparently we can drive straight through here and drop hay off. So let's, uh, let's try that out. Oh, it's got me going the wrong direction. Okay. There we go. And we'll just go ahead and open this in, too. I assume our cows are not going to go anywhere. They may try to run off. But let's hope not. Let's hope not. Let's get this guy in here. We can just watch in the trailer there. Good deal. All right. And we'll just stop uh, right there. Looks good. Now, where it put us? There we go. And let's uh, let's unload some of this. Lift bail. I can't see the thing while I'm here. That's the problem. Uh, it's 30% full, so we should be able to get most of this. Over here, there's a certain spot. There we go. Man, my sensitivity is either too high or too low. And changing it in the menu doesn't seem to work. So, I'm having to do it on the DPI on my uh, mouse. There is a place right there. Alright, now let's back up and see how much we got here. 38%. Oh, we can drop this. Yeah, we can drop this whole trailer. This is not going to fill it up by any means. Eh, 
Yeah, if we was a little bit closer, we could have just uh, turned and grabbed bales and dropped them off. I'm going to take like one step back and forth here. There we go. Uh, we'll finish this row out. We'll throw one more piece down and see how much that gave us. 56%. So that's pretty good. We got six more bales to drop. Uh, we just dropped 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we dropped, uh, what is that, 14 bales on the thing? So, and it only went up like 7% or something. So, I mean, I, I think we're good to drop all this, all this hay off for the cows. And there we go. The cows are full of food as far as we can get them anyway. We could go buy more hay, but I don't see the point in that since we have fields that we can, uh, we can plow and such, so... Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to go out that way. I think I'm supposed to go right through here. There we go. Now then... Let's just come back around and we'll park our uh, hay trailer back in there. I don't want to leave it with the cows because I feel like they will be cramped. There's not enough space in there for the, for the trailer and the cows to be permanently stored, I don't think. There we go. Get down here. We'll just come to a stop somewhere in this area and unhitch. Nope. Nope. I said unhitch. Did it unhitch? It did. Okay. It just didn't make a sound. It didn't give me any kind of a notification that it unhitched from the from the tractor there. That's strange. All right. Let's close these back up. I've already milked the cows. We'll run around to the other end and close those. I guess I could have done that. Uh, from in here, probably. And just went out of the main door. There we are. And let's close these guys. This is really this is really bothering me that... Um, I'm going to leave the tractor out as we're probably going to go pick up our plow. Uh, at some point here pretty soon. Uh, it's bothering me that I rebuilt these doors. And now they're not rebuilt. So I wonder if the stolen material wears off after a while. I wouldn't think so because the roof's still on there. Although that... That not loading from that distance is bothering me, because it should be. Hmm. Uh, I bet that'll be patched at some point. It'll be more optimized at some point as well. Not real concerned about it. I'm not real concerned about the um, the save for the game and all that kind of stuff, because I imagine there's going to be an update where you have to start over um, at some point, which would make everybody buy the materials instead of just getting them for free. So, really need to consider that in our future endeavors. But for right now, we're going to head on over to, uh, what's her name? Where's this place at? Let me look and see. Uh, oh, there's an exclamation point back here. Oh, they're back everywhere. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go see what this exclamation point does. I've been told that it is, uh, side jobs. Looks like it's right up here. We'll probably just go right, right across. Uh, I think we came out of the back way. Normally, I would turn left and go down the road. Uh, we don't want to go through their field, though. I guess we could have come up right here, but... I thought that was a road that maybe led over here to it. I think our plow's here anyway. So this is a good opportunity to go pick up our plow and see if these people need anything from us. Uh, looks like maybe this, maybe this is an opportunity to make some cash. As we were told in our helpful comments. Hello? Can I help you, sweetheart? I'm kind of green. Can you tell me a bit about field oh, work? Okay. Sure. What do you need to know? All right then. How do I prepare fields? What about seeds and fertilizing? How do I gather crops? Any more I need to know? Thanks. I'll see you around. Uh, how to prepare fields? How do I prepare fields? Do what she has to say. Plow the field first, then cultivate it. This will prepare the soil for crops. You can still sow if you don't plow or cultivate, but you won't reap a lot. Okay, then. Uh, thanks. I'll see you around. Thanks. I'll see you around. Now, our marker was right here, and the exclamation point looks to be here. So, do you need something? Can I help you, sweetheart? I'm kind of green. Huh. Sure. What do you need to know? Okay, let's just skip past all that. Uh, anything else? Anything more I need anything to know? Anything more I need to know? Well, I'm not that educated. Try talking to other people if you wish to know more. All right. Thanks. Thanks. I'll see you around. Okay, so no, no money here. That doesn't mean the other ones won't have money uh, available. So 
So grab our plow. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to go down and see what it's going to take to get this cedar uh, from Sam. I think we had mentioned that in a previous episode, so that's probably a good idea to go do that. Uh, fast travel much? No, that's not what I meant to do. Old machine plow. We want old machine jack bear. There we go. Now, uh, we'll pick up the plow later. If we're picking up a cedar from Sam, then we, uh, we probably don't want to be pulling anything else behind us. So I'm going to drive for a few minutes. And, uh, quite a few minutes. And I'll see you when we get to Sam's place. Unless something comes up. And if something comes up, I'll let you know. Look at my, my, my roof is still not, um, rendering for some reason. I'm going to go change some settings, too, while I'm, uh, cutting this out. Anyway, so, I'll see you when we get to Sam's. Well, it looks like there's something on the side of the road up here. Oh, no, that was a, that was the fence through the smoke on the tractor. That's what it was. This is a nice place down here. I don't think we've been, uh, we haven't been this way yet, have we? No, I think the last time we went this far south, we went, uh, past here and then down that road. We didn't come straight down here. So, pretty nice. We get to see some different countryside anyway. This is a nice little place right here. Uh, there is an exclamation point on down. Uh, that's quite a ways away. If it was right here close somewhere, I would say let's go. I may go back around this way and go to this one. See if these people need anything. Um, I don't know if we have to have a specific tool with us when we go to do field work. Or maybe she wanted us to plant a field for her and we did not have the cedar yet. So we couldn't. Maybe that's what it is. So we'll definitely have to check that out uh, on the way back through just to be sure. I, want, I just want to be sure that that's the reason that she didn't give us anything to do. And that's very possible. New quest. You notice an old cedar on a farm. Perhaps the owner would trade it cheap. Check map for objectives. The old cedar. Alright. Uh, let's see. That looked to be an entrance to the farm, maybe. Uh, this guy's gonna want green. Oh, man. He doesn't even have a roof on his place yet. Okay, then. Well, let's turn in here, anyway. See if we can go up and around the greenhouses without running over any of his stuff. That would be preferable. All right, hop off there. Turn around Ooh, the oh, man. what's up? Mouse sensitivity. You tell me. You don't look so good. Sure is. Why ask? Is hmm. that I don't really understand that, yours? but okay. Sure is. Why ask? There we go. That's the right one for it. I just moved in, and I could use a cedar, even as old as this one. Hmm. Think you'd be I'll willing to trade it? Perhaps Random it hand gestures. Me. I can help you. Okay, what do you need? I was hired to plow a field nearby, but I can barely move my legs today. What if you plow it for me? Oh, boy. Sure. And then fix these two greenhouses for me. My ma will be so happy. And I will give you the cedar for free. What do you think? That's not really for free. Um, I don't really have a choice. Sure, you got a deal. So, All right, but this is the up. first time we've plowed a right. field since they changed the, uh, the settings for that. So do I need to plow? I need to plow a field that's over there. This field, oh my goodness, that's almost two acres. Plus we have to go back up here and get our plow. So, um, let me just set that there and I'll run back up and grab the plow. And I'll meet you over at the huge, massively two acre field that is going to take quite some time to do. It looks like it's going to be this one right here. That is a mighty big field. It's got to be plowed. Uh, glad he pawned his work off on us. Perfect. All right, so we're 1,200 meters away from our plow. I'll be back with you in a minute. You know, driving along, I just started to wonder if you could just plow any random spot on the map. So, let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you can indeed just plow any plot of land that you so choose. 
As long as it's not somebody else's field, I guess it's okay to do because nobody said anything to me. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get on the road. Um, doesn't seem to do anything to the road, but yes, it is turning the ground underneath the road, though. That is quite amazing, actually. Huh. Alright, well, let's pick that back up for now. Uh, we don't want to tear up the road too much. Just more of a test than anything. I just wanted to see if you could tear the road up, and you can. A little bit, anyway. Alright, this field is going to be absolutely massive. Um... I will probably time-lapse most of it, but I'll probably do what I did in the holiday video and uh, jump cut somewhere in the middle of the time-lapse just to keep the time-lapse from being, you know, 45 minutes long or whatever, so. Uh, it's going to take a while to do this build, so. I was thinking, though, that we do need to get, after we get the cedar, of course, we need to get our uh, wheat field um, plowed, cultivated, and get ready to drop some canola or some some kind of pea or bean or something back in. I think I want to trade it out into a bean instead of a cereal crop. Uh, we also have the corn header and we have the other field that needs to be plowed and cultivated as well. And I don't know how long it takes it to grow, but I do plan on finding out. We're going to do it at least once just to see if we can uh, plant and, and uh, fertilize before it is time to uh, harvest before winter. See if we can see if we can do another field before winter, basically. So if we do, then we'll know the next time that we can get that done before winter sets in, so that we don't have to worry too much about it after. And we are here. But yeah, I got to thinking about that. We really need to get our uh, canola or old seed rape up off the ground because it is uh, still in uh, in the field, and I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want it to wither, so I definitely want to get that up and done before we do too much else, basically. Uh, I don't want to get too far doing other stuff for other people without getting our canola up and making sure we have some money. Uh, canola should bring a pretty good price. I don't know how much we're going to get off the field, but we'll find out. And uh, I think this is where I'm going to start time lapse.
very hungry. Bee bark over there looks pretty tasty. Well, okay. It's a good time to stop and eat something, I guess. This is going to be a late night. And we are about 65% done with the field, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's just hop off the old jack bear there and hang out under a shade tree and grab us some, uh, I guess some supper is what it would be at this point. Um, it looks like a few eggs are, and some milk is going to be our option, so... Uh. Okay then, quest updated. Uh, go fix the greenhouses, I guess it said. Uh, we still had a little bit more to go. It was only at about 96% or so. But seeing that it is, um, well, it's, it's almost, uh, what was that, 8 o'clock at night, I guess. We're going to head back to the farm, drop the plow off. That way when we come back, we can fix the greenhouses and pick up the cedar. Uh, also, since we got our one big long... You might use some rest. Yes, that's where we're headed now. Uh, since we got our one big long time lapse out of the way for this episode, um, when we get done with this job and get the cedar back to the house, I'm going to try out that sleep for a week thing and see if we can get some... Uh, well, you know what I may do is I may plow and cultivate and seed our wheat field off camera. And then we'll try out the sleep for a week thing just to see how far the crops have grown. We'll kind of do an experiment there uh, just to see. But either way, we'll see you at the house. Alrighty, back at the house. I dropped the uh, the jack bear off over by our field because I'm going to drop the plow there as I plan on doing that off camera and completing that this episode. At least get some seeds in the ground and we'll try out the sleep for a week thing and see how well that does. Uh, I don't really see the need to uh, close the doors, but you know, sleep on bed. Get very little sleep this time. Oh, 6 a.m. comes early, although that's late for a farmer. At least I feel like that's late for a farmer anyway. Let's try eating a few things here, see if it fills us on up. That just might do it. There we go. It did give us a notification that we were full. Your cows need milking. They're well rested and feel strong again. Very nice. So, cows need milking. And chickens probably have eggs for us as well. Let's just head on in here, see if we can do a little bit of cow milking before we head off. Hey, you guys want to hop up so I can uh, get some milk from you? That would be fantastic. Get a little milk here. How many did we get? We got three. Very nice. Oh, we can milk you while you're laying down. You can just you can just lay there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We got this. There we go. Two from you. That is five thus far. Yes, shooter, I can count. Two from you. And how much we get from you? We need uh, a few more cows. I think after we sell some canola, two from you. So we had nine milk out of that. After we sell some canola, we can add three. We can add five more cows. We nine total. 
I think that's all the room they give us for cows. It is. Yeah, so we can have nine total, so that's not too bad. Uh, I'm not too upset about that, to be quite honest. Uh, so we did get uh, quite a few more things of milk to get us through the day. We have a long day ahead of us. But we did get the plowing out of the way, which makes me very happy. That took quite a long time to do. Uh, again, I don't think we'll be buying uh, bigger fields until we have bigger equipment. If that's possible. I don't know. I haven't looked to see how what the size of the plow is that we might be able to upgrade to. Uh, get a couple of chicken eggs here. I didn't even look to see how many we had to begin with. And I guess I could go back and look in post, but... Uh, I'm going to say we probably get a decent amount of... Oh, it's raining. Hey, at least it didn't rain while we were trying to plow the field. That would have been... That would probably have been bad. Got a few chicken eggs out of that. That's pretty nice. Uh, looks like as it starts raining, the sun will probably go away. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to our doors here. But I know that we do not have a rebuild on that. Because I don't know what kind of material we have in our hand. We probably have metal in our hand if I had to guess. Well, let's put that away. And let's check on our greenhouse. Looks to be doing good. So if we sleep for a week, we should have some tomatoes in here. At least I would think we would anyway. Alright, yeah, as you can see, on my way in, I just chopped a little bit of the ground there. Uh, I don't know if this was ever going to grow back or not. I'm going to assume it was not. No. Uh, okay, collision for the camera there. Got on the plow somehow. Uh, I'm going to assume this was not going to grow back. And if it was, well then, I've wasted time and I'm going to waste more by plowing all that up. But if you look here, you can, you can see plowed 5%, cultivated, fertilized, manure. So there's a lot of stuff there. Um, that we can't do anything with yet. Canola, ready for harvest, 100%. And it's only... It has been plowed and cultivated. It has not been fertilized or manured yet. Uh, speaking of manured, we do still have our um, manure spreader up here that we need to go pick up at some point. Um, may do that in the next episode. Go pick it up and throw some manure down after we cultivate. I think that's how that works. I don't know when to spread the manure around, but uh, we're going to do it before we cultivate, I think. So, uh, I think that uh, turns it into the ground, maybe. I'm not I'm not real sure. Uh, if any of you guys out there know for sure when you're supposed to use the manure, let me know. I'm probably going to do it wrong, but I'm going to do it in the next episode, so that will be on uh, Monday next week. So you let me know for sure. Um, also, all the votes came in. Uh, Monday, of course, this past Monday was... Uh, it was Christmas Day. It was a holiday for a lot of people. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday, by the way. Uh, and if you don't celebrate Christmas and you got some time off of work or whatever else, then I hope you enjoyed your time off. Uh, you got some things accomplished for yourself or whatever else uh, that you wanted to get done. And I know the holidays are not a great time for, for some people, so I hope you managed to uh, find a little joy in there somewhere as well. Uh, but either way, uh, the votes were in on the video and some comments for two longer episodes uh, around the 40 45 minute mark or four shorter episodes a week which would have been around uh, 20 minutes or so long I don't have time to do four long episodes a week so uh, we'll have to wait on those uh, until probably more content comes out for the game so once they add fishing and once they add uh, a robust town and a uh, hustle and bustle of uh, lots of other uh, NPC on the map stuff like that, we may start doing uh, three episodes a week that are 35 to 45 minutes long. Uh, but for now, we're going to stick to try to be around 40 or 45 minutes. Some of these may be a little bit long. It's hard for me to judge my time when I spend, um, you know, almost 45 minutes plowing a field. So, uh, But I will try to do better in the, in the future about keeping up with the amount of time I spend doing one certain uh, a task, I guess. So either way, the votes are in. You voted for two longer episodes a week, so that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, until I drop a series or whatever else, that's all I'm going to be able to do, I think. Uh, I could have done four short ones and maybe pushed one of my other ones back slightly uh, to one episode a week. And I, that would have been feasible. But uh, at this point, two episodes that are slightly longer is what we're going to get. So next Monday, uh, my question for you is do we use the manure before or after 
plowing or cultivating. So do we plow and cultivate and then put the manure down or do we plow and then put the manure down and then cultivate? There is a pole in the top right hand corner. If you would be so kind, click on that and give me your answer. And if you're not able to click on that, then you let me know in the comments below. That would be that would be good. Uh, the reason I ask is because I really have no idea. So we're going to repair some tables. And if I had to guess, probably some, some cinder block as well along the bottom wall. No, nope, looks like it's going to be some tables and some walls. And a good bit of the roof is going to have to be repaired. I wonder if we can cheat and do this from down here. Oh, look at that. We can cheat and do that from down here. All right. Well, this guy's going to have a pretty nice farm when we get done fixing it up for him. <laughs> as bad as that sounds, <laughs> he's going to have one. Um, we need to spend time at our place uh, getting some crops out of the field and uh, getting things harvested and replanted and... Uh, you know, taking a siesta for a week, that'd be fantastic if we could do that. But you never know, maybe one of these days we will get to the point... Oh, all of these are bad. Hmm. He must have had a leaky roof or something to get all this rust in here. There we go. Uh, we're going to continue doing this from the table, I think. That's probably the way to go here. Um, you know, I saw something uh, in one of the comments. Somebody said something about thanks for letting me... Uh, turning me into a thief or something. He's stealing all the materials. And from what I understand, they're going to, at some point, how did I end up doing that one way over there? At some point, they're going to patch, and you're going to have to buy materials, I think somebody else said too. So, um, I'm looking forward to that because I don't like the idea of, uh, like creative mode and stuff in games like Minecraft had, of course. Um, you can go in and just have everything available to you. I like the idea of having to work for stuff in games, so it makes it more fun. When you get everything for free, it's it, to me, it just ruins the, the experience of the game. So I really like having to work towards something, and I feel like this game gives you that experience um, quite a bit better than some of the other ones, which is why I like Farming Simulator so much, too. Gold Rush as well, I like it, too, because of that feature, because you have to work towards stuff. Although, Gold Rush just came out with an update and new stuff, and I'm probably going to have... Um, probably going to have to switch games, so I'll be starting over from scratch, but I think I have an idea to make that work. Uh, I think everybody will be okay with the way I do it, and probably pleased that I don't start back over with a hog pan uh, at Old Arnold and start from scratch again. Uh, the starting scratch is cool for the first time uh, for Let's Plays. That way you get to see the full experience of uh, what it takes to do. Uh, in this game, I do plan on fully having to start over several times. Uh, because I think uh, when the when the game full releases, which I think I heard there's going to be a big update in February. I'm not positive. I haven't checked the roadmap uh, in the last week or so. so. I don't know if that's changed. They probably haven't changed much over the holidays, honestly. Uh, they probably haven't done a whole lot. They've probably been taking a vac vacation themselves or a holiday themselves, So, uh, which I wouldn't expect them to work through uh, the holiday just for a game, you know, for people or whatever. But... Um, if, if there has been something released, I'll be sure to check in on it. If you guys find out information that I haven't I haven't uh, said yet, uh, please do let me know. That way I can keep up as well. Now, this is actually going really quickly. Uh, although he did say two greenhouses. I don't see another one. Maybe he meant this is a double greenhouse. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe this is a double greenhouse. And also, in the future, I've been thinking about this a lot. I hope at some point in the future they let you uh, add on to your greenhouse or your farm buildings or... Uh, build a new barn or whatever else. Excuse me. Uh, just to add um, more cows or more chickens or whatever else you want to add. I think that would be probably a way to go uh, that would make this... Is that it? Really? Just the tables are left? Okay. Man, I didn't realize I was going to sit here and talk through this entire thing. I'd planned on skipping this. Um, but yeah, I hope at some point you get the ability to, to build new farm buildings or add on to your old ones or whatever else. Let's see if this finishes it. That's it. Big Sam's greenhouse. Nice. Oh no, there's oh no, there's not another one. Let's just talk to Sam. Turn to Sam, collect your reward. Alright. Good deal. That didn't take uh, any time, All honestly. Done. I Thanks, thought we'd be man. working on that for a while. Appreciate it. The cedar's yours. No, I need some rest. You need some rest. I just got done plowing the field that you didn't plow. Achievement unlocked. Planter. Woo! We got the cedar. This guy is running to the house, man. Look at him. He's like, man, it's raining outside. I am done with this. Oh, look at this old cedar. This thing looks cool, man. 
We received a cedar and a hundred social points. Not bad at all. Look at that old cedar. That is... We gotta hop off and take a look at this thing. Man, this thing is cool. Uh, I really like it. I really like this thing. That is really neat. Man, look at this old barn he's building right here. He's starting from scratch with new cinder block. I know it's raining on us, so let's get back to the house as quick as we can. Uh, to get that other field plowed up. And... Uh, Maybe get some seed in the ground. And also, I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, if we have enough manure, I'm probably going to do manure uh, over it as well. So that means I'm going to go with the manure spreader. Uh, and you know where we got it from. You saw it in a previous episode. No need for you to watch all that. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do a lot of that stuff off camera. Just so we can shorten the episode slightly. Because I think right now I'm probably coming up close to being overtime. Even with the massively long uh, time lapse. So... Uh, I don't want to run out of time here, and I've allowed myself a certain amount of time per episode so that I don't, but then you get a, you know, a uh, field that you have to plow that takes you uh, almost 45 minutes to do, um, with me stopping and all that kind of stuff, but, uh, either way, uh, we do get back to the farm, we need to fuel back up, I think, and we can start plowing, although I guess we can start plowing and the way our fuel gets a little bit lower. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. This next jump cut is probably gonna be... Uh, when I start using this cedar on the field. Because I have to do a whole bunch of other stuff first. And you've seen me cultivate. You've seen me plow twice now. Um, you've seen me harvest. So I think I'm just going to jump cut to the point where uh, I am putting seed in the ground. So I will see you uh, like now. Alright. So I told you that uh, right now you'd be looking at me in the... Um, cedar but as it turns out since I don't know you're really really hungry wonder how those leaves taste they probably taste pretty good um, turns out I don't know when to use this thing and I asked earlier I'm gonna ask again uh, when do I use the fertilizer and manure spreader oh look at that it auto fills 1100 so we got 11 percent so when do we use this um, manure spreader uh, before and after uh, cultivating, I mean, uh, before cultivating and plowing, or after cultivating and plowing, and do we use it after seeding, before seeding, also the fertilizer, uh, same same thing, I want to know when to do that, also, how do we get rid of this, does this just get rid of itself, or what happens here, I don't know, um, they still have 68% of their food, so we're probably good there, uh, we didn't get as much as I thought we were going to get out of that. Uh, we only got 11% out of it. But we do have fertilizer as well that we can probably use. Also, I just want to take a second to look at this thing. They literally took a hay trailer, stuck a tank on it, and that's it. That's that's the manure spreader. Um, I thought that's... Uh, it's, I mean, it's genius because you're saving money, of course, but uh, it can't be very effective, right? Ooh, that's, that's really bumpy through there. We're going to be careful going through that spot. So, if I was to use this, would I use it now, before planting, or would I use it after planting? And for right now, we're just going to drop this right here. You are really very hungry. Okay, we're going to eat something real quick, I do believe. I can get my sensitivity back up on my mouse here. Let's eat uh, a few eggs. Let's eat 15 eggs. That's 150. Oh, we're full. Okay. Good, so the rest of it's just going to be sleep. Uh, I don't know how many of those eggs I wasted. Probably quite a bit of them, if I had to guess. I do tend to uh, waste a good bit. A pure accident. Oh, boy. That, that hitched pretty hard there. All right, let's see if I can just gently back this thing into here. Probably not, because it's going to turn very, very sharp. So the key is not to let it get... Uh, yeah, don't let it do that. But I do need to back this in here. So that we can enter the magazine rack and fill the cedar. Now, do we want to fill it with this? We don't have any seeds stored of anything else. So we're going to have to fill it with wheat, uh, which is fine. We'll plant wheat one more time in the field. And then, ooh, that took a lot. Now, I wonder how much it uses. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to seed the entire field. Whoa, sensitivity. Turn it back down. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to f seed this entire field today, although I do want to see how this thing works. Um, mainly because I don't, I don't know when to put the manure and fertilizer down. Do I do it before or after? So, I want to seed just this little spot here. 
And I don't know how to turn this thing on. Um... Yeah, I don't know how to... Is it gonna do it as soon as I start moving? Oh, it is. It's gonna do it on its own. I think. Is that how that works? Does it seed that fast? Can I go that fast while seeding? That's, a, that's pretty quick there. So we can go full speed. Uh, this might not take as long as I thought. But I just want to do one row. And I guess that's going to be it because... Um, I want to wait and see what you guys have to tell me about the use of fertilizer and manure and all that kind of stuff. So you guys let me know uh, in the comments. If you can't click on the poll in the top right hand corner, uh, let me know that uh, there if you can. And the interaction is very much appreciated. And all the interaction you guys have given me so far, all the votes on longer or shorter episodes has been, has been very helpful to me. Uh, but for now, I think that's going to do it for this episode. This one may turn out a bit shorter, so I may have let you guys down, but I have completely run out of time. I do appreciate you watching, and it is raining still. We're probably just going to go to bed, skip this day, get past the rain, all that kind of stuff. I will see you all on Monday in the next one. Maybe we'll figure out if we can plant this or not. Later, everybody.